Hello everyone, it is Celesta from Evolve the Calm. Thanks for joining me today as I talk about three aspects of trust that leaders need to foster in order to gain that trust from their team. And I was just reading a study that kind of boggled me and so I was super excited to talk about it. If you look at three aspects and only these three aspects of what makes a leader trustworthy to their team, you can look at relationships, you can look at their judgment, or you can look at the consistency of anything they do. And what I found interesting is that, of course, not, not surprisingly, if you have all three, you've got the most trust with your team. But that if you had to pick just one, relationships is more important than judgment and consistency put together. That threw me. So if I'm a leader and I want to build trust with my team, trust so that they'll follow me, trust so that they'll call me out if I've got a terrible idea that I'm about to run with, trust so that we can talk and have conflict in really constructive, amazing ways. Then the most important thing I need to be doing as a leader is to build relationships. And that may look a little different for every person. So I might have someone on my team that really wants to like talk and have like closeness about what's going on in their family. And it might be a lot of personal conversation. I might have someone else that they want eye contact every morning or they want to be given five minutes in a meeting. I might have someone else that a relationship to them means having a drink together every Friday afternoon, right? It really depends. And I think to me, that's the hardest part of being a leader is I have to be a chameleon. I have to be there for my team in whatever way they need me to show up. And that means I have to have a pretty wide array of things I can be pretty good at in building those relationships. Now, me personally, I hope I also have great judgment and I hope I'm also really consistent for my team and that they can trust me in that way as well. But if I had to pick one, I was honestly truly surprised that the one I would need to pick to build trust the best is just to connect and build relationships with my team. So that's what I want to leave you with. I think this is true for leaders. This is true for anyone in the workplace or anyone in any relationship, which is all of us. So good luck this week and thanks for joining me. I hope to see you soon.